hello welcome to firm cg in this tutorial we are going to create a low polycut diamond as you can see this is a pretty basic setup there is no light or anything just only an hdr reflection and symbol glass bsdf material applied and you can see it is now we are also getting um, the diamond look with the simple setup so in order to achieve that we need to model the diamond cuts or for the specific cuts we need to make that so just stop this scene and we will use a new scene general and delete this cube and i will create a mesh a cone change this to 16 radius to 1.4 and depth to 1.5 and the rotation y axis to 180 degree so it just look like a diamond not in the top region we can make that just use edit mode go to top select this go to front view and go to mode and you can press E or just right click and extrude face make a little bit up press again E okay now in the perspective mode right click and use epoch face command so it will create make sure uh, you are in the wireframe mode select all this only the, mm, and make a scale again select top make a scale press 5 in shaded mode select the middle one and the one and now we have a pretty basic setup of for a job. now we need to go to in the front view again wireframe select all this right click make a bubble vertex change the width to 0.1 I think it's enough and again we need to connect these two vertex together Adjustors, center. Do this for all vertex. Okay, I just finished uh, merging those vertex or the vertices, and now we have a decent looking jam. Now we have to connect these four vertices together. So you have to use a knife tool. Click, join this section press enter you have to repeat this now okay i finished making the cuts now go to the edge selection mode make select mode select all this edge here i click make dissolve edge now we need to connect this Two vertex making a v-shaped cut here in order to do that go to front view make sure you are in the wireframe mode go to face selection mode select box select these spaces make a bisect cut and make a cut here in the edge mode press s and z and scale it so it for a sharp cut and in the perspective you go to shade it again use go to the text mode use knife tool make cut here like 
presenter. Now, in the front view, go to edge mode. You need to select this edge. You can use a box selection. I click the solo edge. Again, come to perspective view, shade it, select all these edges, go to the vertex mode, and in the up view, select all these alternating vertices, press S and scale a little bit. Okay, so we just finished modeling, and now the next step is shading. So in order to make uh, the shading you need to go to first of all the EV render won't make a good uh, reflection refraction for this kind of object so I'm going to use cycles so go to the render engine change it to cycles you can use shaded view here change if you have a GPU computer supported it's up to you you can use either CPU or GPU there is I'm not going to change anything here now you can use don't need hair or volumes first we need to create a shading so go to the shade make a new material you can change it to diamond and see this principle BSDF I'm going to change to glass BSDF change the backman to sharp Change IOR value to 2.45. This is not the correct refractive value for uh, the diamond, uh, but for the total purpose, this will serve uh, pretty decent result. You can see now we have a lot of black and white or black gray reflection refraction going on. Now we need to add some environment for refraction reflection to work. So go to so go to the uh, surface background you need to create an environment texture now um, the diamond look like a glassy object or a, some kind of prism we need to make it look like diamond in order to do that we have to come back to this render settings and you need to turn this option on light paths and we for this tutorial i'm not using caustic so i just turn off this the caustic and you see this diffuse glow c and you need to increase the glow c raise to eight I, you can see a little a lot of now a lot of reflection going within this we need to increase now we need to increase the transparency value to 16 i'm going to make it double and also the transmission I don't know if it's affect the transmission also but just make sure it works but still there is uh, we need to increase the total rise also so I'm going to increase this to 32 uh, diamond looking object you can play with these values actually this is not uh, for a realistic looking diamond object but this you can also delete this light in if you don't need this background go to the background tab the wall tab and you can change uh, the ray this ray visibility and just turn off the camera and that will give you diamonds hmm. 